Welcome everyone to part two of the Facebook Friday q and I'm just going to get right on into it. If you missed part one, make sure you check that out maybe after you watch this part two. Sam Wise Kindle kicks, kicks us off by asking, who do you think should replace the announced team on Raw? I don't know if it's just simply a matter of replacing the announced team. I don't know if anybody needs to be replaced. Now that Lawler's off of the Raw team, thank God. That most certainly helps. Um, they need to get Vince and Kevin Dunn out of their fucking ears. That most certainly would help. Uh, need to stop being fed crap from the gorilla position. They need to allow Booker T to be Booker T and all of Booker T's awesomeness. And JBL needs to be a fucking heel. And Michael Cole needs to tell the story and call the action as he's seeing it. That's what needs to happen. A commentary team could be so much more than what it actually is. Kuazad! Do you think it would have been better if they had made Daniel Bryan face Lesnar for the title at Fastlane with the winner going to face Reigns at WrestleMania instead? Yes. You could have done a quick program between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins if you so desired. And then you could have sent Daniel Bryan because he had a legitimate gripe in terms of he got stripped of the title so he never got his rematch. Well, why does he need to fight for that if he has a legitimate gripe? Then just send him straight at Lesnar. Let him get squashed at Fastlane. Maybe that gets a little more anger and heat towards Brock Lesnar because people are butthurt now because Daniel Bryan got destroyed. And now maybe people are a little more inclined to get behind Roman Reigns. Better the alternative they come up with. Habib Habib, put Ryback in Roman Reigns' position. Do you think fans would have rejected him like Reigns? I think at this point in time, frankly, the hardcore fans would have rejected anybody that was Daniel Bryan, not me, maybe Dolph Ziggler. That's the truth of the matter. Um, even a few of the hardcore fans would have rejected Ziggler because they've been like, oh, Christ almighty, get the fuck out of here. Uh, but Daniel Bryan... Um, as long as he was in the picture like this, uh, then anybody else would have been trouble. Uh, and do you think CM Punk will ever return to the WWE? Oh, I think at some point in time he will. You know, if he gets his face pushed in enough at the UFC level and WWE is desperate enough to admit that they were being stupid too, they'll come back to the table and something will happen. I find it very hard to believe that Punk will never come back in any capacity. I'm just not buying it, my opinion. Uh, Corey Hauser, if WWE decides to go with Reigns at WrestleMania and he ends up pinning Brock Lesnar and the fans continue to turn on him, could you see them panicking and sending Daniel Bryan out to challenge him and win the title to send the fans home happy? No. It'd be more likely that they'd send Seth Rollins out there to send the fans home happy. As messed up as that sounds, I don't think they'd send Daniel Bryan out there in that capacity. That would make no fucking sense whatsoever. Again, we're talking about the WWE, so who the fuck knows? It'd be more likely to put Daniel Bryan into that triple threat match, if anything. Antoine Dupree, do you think it's crazy for a person to want to become the best at anything that they do? I, no. That would be the whole goal. We're a competitive uh, species by nature. Why would you want to be second best at any fucking thing you do? Why would you be okay with that? You know, it's like when I hate when we have little kids that play in a you know, let's say baseball leagues or football leagues or they run races and we give everybody a participation ribbon. We give everybody a medal because they're all winners. No, they're not. You can applaud the effort. You can applaud the trying. But at the end of the day, they're not winners. The winner is the fucking winner. And especially in this country, we create an environment and a cycle of accepting losing and making excuses. If you go for a job, let's say in 499 other applicants, one opening, you're one of 500. Is it okay if you finish in second place when there was only one job available? Fuck no! You lost! You are a loser! Trying and putting forth effort doesn't put food on yours and your fucking family's table. It doesn't put a roof over your head. Stop rewarding just effort. Effort is nice. Effort is great. I applaud people that put forth effort. It's great to see it. But, you know, we're a results-driven world. The results matter. So, yes, you should want to be the best at everything you can do. At least, if nothing else, be the best that you can be at whatever you do. But sometimes that's not good enough either. you got to be better. Uh, Jeff Kyles, what if the streak ended in a Montreal screw job fashion would have been even more ridiculous than what they actually did? Plain and simple. It was already ridiculous. Doing it that way would be even more ridiculous. Benedict Infinity Ward. Who out of the current NXT roster has the potential to be part of the Breakfast Club? Um, 
Maybe Finn Balor, just because maybe those guys in the Breakfast Club will be like, well, we could work with him. We could do a little something with him, but they wouldn't view him as a threat to them. Um, other than that, I don't really know. I don't know if there would be one. Maybe again with a Tommy. Maybe it'd be like, it'd be nice to have him part of the crew, but at the same point in time, he's never going to be a threat to our spot. And he's somebody we could put down if we need to. I don't know if there is one. Nick Anderson, do you think Austin Severian and Jenkins could be a productive NFL tight end? I do. I think we'll see more out of him in year number two in 2015. I do. Uh, let's see here. Merced Sedirman, do you think Wayne Rooney and Stone Cold and Bad News Barrett um, is going to happen? Uh, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Rooney and Stone Cold versus Bad News and somebody else? Well, let's be honest here, and I know the European contingent won't be particularly happy with me because they'll say it's an affront to them and I'm just bashing soccer, but let's be perfectly realistic here. If the WWE was going to utilize Stone Cold Steve Austin for a match, would they waste it on a match featuring a soccer player? Come on, man. Really? I hope you don't expect me to believe that, and I hope you don't expect yourselves to believe that either. Chris William, do you think Roman Reigns versus The Rock would have been a good idea at WrestleMania this year, or could it be a potential match for the future? I suppose it could be a potential match for the future, but I don't think it would have been a particularly good idea for this year. Uh, Ryan Monroe, who is the Holy Trinity of WWE? You must include one diva. It's called The Breakfast Club. I don't need to explain. Peter Gunn, do you think the Royal Rumble should have another stipulation? For example, the runner-up gets to face The Undertaker. Uh, no, but I would have been okay with one year if somebody won the Rumble saying that instead of going after the title, I want to go after the streak at WrestleMania because the streak meant that much at WrestleMania to the point where it meant, meant more at Mania than the fucking belt did. As a result, I would have been perfectly okay with that. Um, Taryn Rooks, will you ever do the assume Jeff Jarrett position again? Never say never, that's for damn sure. Alan Pesson, do you think Dean Ambrose can become the most overface in the WWE based on the charisma he has and the reaction he is getting? I, I don't see why he couldn't. I don't know what type of indication that is uh, for the current WWE if that were to be the case at this particular moment, but I don't see why he couldn't. I think there's a possibility. Caleb Pulley, is Rollins going to cash in at WrestleMania to get bigger? Um, <laughs> get bigger where? <laughs> I don't know what that reveal of Rollins. I don't know. They might back off of that, um, but they should, in my opinion. Sean Anderson, do you think creative are going to troll us and all and have another triple threat main event at Mania? Or do you think they have the balls to say, fuck you to the fans and have Reigns rightfully go over? I'd be very surprised if they have the balls to have Reigns rightfully go over. I'd be pleasantly surprised and happy if they did. Um, I, I, they, I guess, you know, like, to, to be fair, they could do it either way, but I can't see them having Reigns go over Brian completely clean. They're building up Sheamus for a reason, at a time for a reason, so I'd have to figure they might be sending him a Daniel Bryan for Mania. And it might happen as soon as fast late on Sunday. So, we'll see. Constantinos Papacostas. Who do you think will have a better year in 2015, Damian Sandow or Cody Rhodes uh, Stardust? Um, hmm. A push. It'll be a push. Because Rhodes would be a heel that wouldn't get past a certain point, and Sandow is a face, and he won't get past a certain point. Uh, Mario, the King of Hearts, Alcime, is the main event at Fastlane, in the main event at Fastlane, excuse me, do you think there's going to be a wishy-washy finish? I do. Some type of screwy finish is what I would expect at this point. Uh, Demetrius Blackwell, what are your thoughts on Samoa Joe leaving Impact Wrestling? I'll be talking about that Sunday in the Triple Threat video. Don't have a ton of thoughts about it. I've tweeted about it a little bit. I'll talk about it a little bit more on Sunday. Muhammad Asil Meki, do you think that Bray versus Triple H should happen at this year's SummerSlam? I'd be okay with that. Uh, Javon Mallet, if he puts Cesaro in Reigns' position as push wise, do you think Cesaro versus Brian versus Lester would be a good match? It'd be a good match, maybe from a wrestling standpoint, but would that be a big time money draw? No. I'm not sure that Reigns versus Lesnar at this point is a big time money draw. I'm not sure that the WWE really has anything that is a big time money draw at this particular point in time. 
Sean Woodfeld, Wolfunden. Do you think Hogan will face Rusev at WrestleMania or tag with Cena against Rusev and a foreign le legend? Um, I, I don't think they'd go in that direction. I really think it would be Rusev versus Cena again at Mania. Phil Chaver, does Rollins cash in at WrestleMania? As I stated before, I don't think so at this point, uh, even though I think they should. Charlie Kelly, who's... Who's Nan once farted for what? Never mind. Andy Neal said, if WWE fans want Samoa Joe in the WWE, would that be considered hypocrisy as they complain TNA uses ex-WWE stars? It's not like WWE really uses a lot of ex-TNA stars. So, yeah, I guess I get what you're saying. I don't necessarily agree with you. Uh, Donnie Todd, who is The Rock's greatest rivalry with? Austin Foley or Triple H? Um, I guess it's a matter of perspective. I don't think Austin was his best rival. I think his best pure rivalry was against Triple H, although I thought the most compelling, entertaining television was the stuff he did with Foley, but that was just as much with the Rock and Sock connection as it was with them feuding themselves. Uh, Lucas Balboni, if Trish Stratus had a part-time schedule like Brock Lesnar, would it revive the women's division? Uh, only if it revived her ass. George Melichar, do you watch any TV show besides Raw? Yes. Summer and I watch Empire every Wednesday night. It's must-see television. Lucius Lyon, fuck the world. Uh, that's just one. I actually watch a lot of Ghost Hunters every Friday night. Somehow we started watching Blue Bloods. That's more Ashley's thing, so, you know, I watch it with her. Um, and then, obviously, sports is another big part of what I watch. David Dye, if Hogan had beat Jarrett for the WCW title in a match instead of Jarrett lying down with Booker T, had, or Hogan had Booker T over later that night, or was Jarrett's title just a way to get the world title on Booker T? And it was one of those big fucking work things. You didn't know what exactly to expect, and you really didn't give a fuck, if I'm being so honest. Uh, let's see here. Scott Walker, should WWE give The Undertaker persona to a new wrestler? No. Hell no. Lorenzo Alfonso, Paul IV, do you think the main event of this year's WrestleMania should involve all three former Shield members members? Excuse me, in a fatal four-way for the WWE World Heavyweight title? Could have maybe been some appeal to doing just a triple threat between him at WrestleMania for the title. Uh, but, no, I don't think so. Uh, Brian Simmons, Vader, Arn Anderson, Andy Kaufman, Chris Jericho, and Brian Pillman. Who, if any or all, do you think deserves and will eventually be in the Hall of Fame? All of them. Arn's technically already in as part of the Horsemen anyways. Vader will get his time. Uh, Pillman someday will hopefully get his time. Jericho most certainly will get his time. And one of these years, I would hope that WWE would be wise enough to put Andy Kaufman in their celebrity wing. Uh, Matt Mefe, will WrestleMania 31 be forgettable and why? I think it could be. It's going to be a lot of what could have been and what actually was instead. I, I just don't have that same buzz about WrestleMania this year. I get that fear that it could really, really disappoint. Um, let's see here. Any other questions? Uh, Henry Lamas, do you think the doctor suing WWE or suing CM Punk and Colt Cabana will sue them so hard that their bank accounts will need Z-Packs? <laughs> Very possible. Luke Wynn Staley, should Jerry Lawler take on a sex offender gimmick? He already did. It's called his life. Uh, <laughs> Javi VD, is Triple H now going to be concerned about her daughter finding Seth Rollins' pictures on the Internet? No. Unless Seth Rollins had sex with Triple H. The only reason Triple H cares about that is because Stephanie McMahon cares about that. Because Stephanie McMahon is being a bitter, bitter, vindictive bitch. I don't care what anybody says. She's the one that came in and stole the guy away. She fucking won. She's the one that had the three daughters. Get over it, bitch. Triple H, put your bitch in check. Seriously. She's acting like a bitch. You need to put her in check. Stupid. Trying to not be in the Hall of Fame is stupid, and the reasons given are also stupid. I'm sorry. So thanks again for all of you guys that submitted your questions on the Facebook OTRS Central page for this Friday Q&A. If you didn't check out Part 1, make sure you go back and check out Part 1. I'll be back Wednesday for the next Twitter Q&A. Make sure you check out all the other content on this channel uh, that comes up throughout the weekend, including my review of WWE Fastlane 2015.